Today is the one year anniversary of Locked on Kraken. One year ago today, I began this fantastic journey, the maiden voyage, if you will, arr, of the Locked on Kraken show. We're going to recap some of my favorite moments, as you can see. If you can't see me, you should head over to YouTube, or as you can hear, I'm excited. I'm going to talk about some of my favorite Locked on Kraken moments, and of course, we're going to get you over to some news that we got just today as far as signings for the Seattle Kraken. All that and more on this Friday edition of Locked on Kraken. You are Locked on Kraken. Your daily podcast on the Seattle Kraken. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. We are the Seattle Kraken. All right, Seattle hockey fans, how are we feeling? Happy Friday, happy July 1st, happy almost holiday weekend. As you can see, I'm very festive for today, and it's just going to get better from here. For those on audio only, I still love you. Thank you for listening and making Locked on Kraken part of your daily dose of Seattle Kraken coverage. I've got my... Uh, party time hat here. This is uh, the hat that I wore when I dressed up as Uma. More on that coming up. I'm also wearing uh, some stunna shades that I got at a bachelorette party so you can actually see what I see. Um, then I don't have my party pack here in Tulsa, which is where I am right now. So apparently I have some uh, Christmas garland. So that's what we're rocking with. I've got, ooh, my studded gloves as part of the whole pirate theme. And of course, my Seattle Kraken jersey. We are going to get started, as I said, with uh, some Seattle Kraken news. And the Seattle Kraken have re-signed defenseman Gustav Olofsson. This is a one-year contract, two-way contract. I'm actually going to send you over to our good friends over at, you already know, that's, of course, going to be uh, the... Uh, Kraken season because I, I just like visuals. I think visuals are great. They sent this over via email, but you can see here that it's a $75, $750,000 deal, two way uh, deal, one year contract extension. So Olafson is one of the players that we saw play with the Charlotte Checkers. We talked about that. He is a defenseman. You know, I'm a stickler for defense. So is that necessarily going to get us to that winning record? Is that necessarily going to get us to that bold prediction that I'm trying to prove right more on that later on the show? I mean, I don't know, but you know, Let's start with what we got and then figure out how much space we have. <sighs> you know, I'm waiting on the Donato news. I'm waiting on the Donato news, people. Um, I want it to come. And maybe that's because, as we will see as we go down memory lane here on Locked on Kraken, again, today, J July 1, is our one-year anniversary. One year ago, today, we officially launched as the newest Locked on NHL podcast for the newest NHL franchise. But as a matter of fact, the real, <laughs> the real anniversary happened, I guess, a few days ago, almost uh, two weeks ago now. And I missed it. I forgot that I had in the can my interview with JT Brown. So I'm going to take you over to the Locked on Kraken um, Twitter account because there we will see what the first ever locked on video was. And that was me talking about JT Brown. I think I officially recorded the mock draft video, which we're also going to talk about uh, probably the first and last time I ever called Maddie Matthew, but um, we're going to talk about that. But this is the first ever video. There you see, oh, love my Janet Jackson gifts. But anyway, I digress. Let's take you to uh, the first ever post uh, that we made, or uh, I guess lock, we call them Locked On Now. First on, the first Locked On Now post for Locked On Kraken. 
Hello, everyone. Erica Lindsay Ayala here, your host of Locked on Kraken that officially launches July 1st. But right now we have our teaser up. You can listen to that anywhere you listen to podcasts. But I'm here to talk about the latest acquisition. JT Brown announced his retirement officially today, and he also announced that he will be joining the Seattle Kraken as he transitions to a new career in the broadcast booth. I got to speak to JT Brown today. We have a little bit of that coming up for our first official episode launching July 1st. Again, wherever you get your podcast. But for now, for now, let me give you this. This is what JT Brown posted uh, earlier today. My dream was always to make the NHL. And once I got there, I knew I wanted to make it easier for kids like me. So I'm excited for my new role as TV color analyst with the Seattle Kraken and to continue to do the work that needs to be done to make hockey more inclusive. Stick taps to that. Stick taps to you, JT Brown. And thank you for joining us as our second ever guest on Locked on Kraken. If you want to hear more from JT Brown and all of the other guests that we have lined up for our debut on July 1st, make sure you are subscribed to Locked on Kraken wherever you get podcasts and that you follow us on social media at Locked on on crack there you have it folks that was the first ever video that i did for the locked on Kraken show you might have noticed i had a wardrobe change i'm into the hats i'm into the hats folks i don't know if you know this about me if, if you're a long time listener or a viewer then you probably do i'm into the hats so right now what am i wearing i'm wearing my depths hat that's right. The depth. So that was a bit that we did for a little bit. It's just so dramatic, right? Everything about this team is so dramatic. That's probably why I fit in. But anyway, I remember interviewing JT Brown. I remember when that news came out and I thought it was the coolest thing because I've committed myself to getting as far as I can in hockey media. And this show actually was a step in that direction. I'd been working in women's hockey. I still work in women's hockey and I've been doing a great job. I thought, I mean, I was a broadcaster. I was writing at places like, you know, sports illustrated, the New York times, things like that. And I was feeling good. Um, And then an opportunity actually before it was about a year ago, maybe um, a year before we launched, I was tapped to do the locked on women's basketball show. And at that time, our manager, our fantastic fearless leader at locked on NHL had actually um, come to me with some opportunities on the NHL channel. And the teams that were available didn't seem right. I told, I tell you, I like a lot of passion, baby. And I've been leaking it a little bit at a time because I'm so excited for the next guest that we're going to have. But you got to be passionate about things. And I just wasn't feeling the vibe. Nothing against those other teams. Sorry to those teams. Um, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. But I remember saying, I was like, all right, let me think about it. But if you want me on the NHL show, when you're ready to launch the Kraken show, the Seattle Kraken show, or the NHL Seattle at the time show, let me know. I'd already done some freelance work for um, NHL to Seattle. And so I thought it might be a good fit. And hey, here we are a year later. But uh, I remember being inspired by JT Brown. And I love that quote that I read on that video, the first video that we posted. And um I was really excited that, and I felt like legit, you know, as a part of the media core for the Seattle Kraken, because uh, I got an email invite to in, to interview JT Brown. And that's exactly what I did. Uh, and here's a little snippet of that interview on our first ever episode of Locked on Kraken. Now, let, let's let's see what you got, JT. What What's your analysis on that situation? <laughs> um, I mean... Obviously, you'd love to uh, to find a player that's NHL ready uh, right away, uh, but you know, and not every player will progress the same way. Um, I just look at even from a standpoint of myself, I would not have been ready to play in the NHL uh, in my after my draft year. Um, but so I think there's a lot of things that go into it. But it also, you know, you have to see who you know in the expansion draft you have, what type of players you're sort of setting yourself up. Uh, based on who you've already chosen with what you want to do in uh, the regular draft. All right. Oh, you caught me in a wardrobe change. I've got my Ebbets uh, Field Flannels hat here 
the great Jackie Robinson, 42. I love this hat. Um, okay, we're going to keep it moving. We're going to keep it grooving. Now, of course, JT Brown was talking about, and I put him on the spot because we're getting ready for the expansion draft. Oh, you bet. We're going to talk about the expansion draft. And, of course, we're going to talk about, the, like I said, probably the first and last time I ever called Beneers Matthew. That's what's coming up next on Locked on Kraken, the one-year anniversary of Locked on Kraken. Um, but, of course, now I'm going to tell you about some of our sponsors. And BetOnline.net is your number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Yesterday's show, we talked about the odds for the number one pick. I think they're pretty consistent with what we're seeing. Um, but they also have, of course, Major League Baseball odds. We went through the Stanley Cup futures odds. We <laughs> are not dead last in the futures for the Stanley Cup championship for next year, but we are behind Vegas and um, 30 other teams. Anyway, Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering information, including live betting, esports, and scores. And Bet Online remains the best spot for all your uh, podcast news and news this season. It's the fastest and easiest way to check on all your favorite sports and events, including MMA, boxing, and golf. Bing, bing. Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more about the trends and action. Bet online is where the game starts. As always, I want to thank you so much for listening to Locked on Crack. And not just today, but if you are a, an A1 day one, thank you so much. We have gone through a lot of transitions. I have done a lot of learning. Um, we'll talk about it a little bit on the podcast. I have gone to different countries and been providing locked on Kraken coverage. And you've been with me every step of the way. And um, as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure it might not have been the first video that was posted, but I'm pretty sure the first ever video that I did for um, for the Locked on Kraken show was actually my selection uh, of Maddie Beneers. I said Maddie Beneers was going to go to Seattle uh, in the expansion draft. And so now I'm going to play you a little bit of that clip. This is, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, my memory is a little, you know, it's a little fuzzy sometimes. But I, I, I remember <laughs> when I officially got the word that I was going to do the show, I was like, okay, great, let's do it. And then they're like, oh, yeah, you got to pick uh, in our expansion draft. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I think it worked out. Here we go. Mock draft. Hi there, everyone. Erica Lindsay Ayala here. I'm one of the hosts of the Locked on Women's Basketball podcast and the newest host as a part of Locked on NHL, as I will be the host for Locked on Seattle Kraken. And so, of course, I am here today for our mock draft to pick for the Seattle Kraken. And with the second overall pick in the Locked on NHL mock draft, the Seattle Kraken select center from the University of Michigan, Matthew Beneers. Matthew Beneers. Uh, Maddie Beneers. Yes, Maddie, Maddie, Maddie Beneers. Who knew back when I was calling him Matthew, like I knew something back in June of last year, that I would get to see Maddie play in Boston and Beijing, China. That's right. I brought you coverage and Beneers watch from Beijing, China. I have the, just fell to the ground, but I have my credential from that experience. What a wild, wild time. The boys didn't quite get as far as we wanted them to, but Maddie had a great, um, a great tournament. A little bit of a question mark as to why he was not uh, chosen in the shootout, but you know, things happen. And who did they lose to? If I remember correctly, wasn't it a Slovakian team that has some pretty high prospects in this year's draft, including who I think is going to go to the Seattle Kraken? I believe so, if memory serves. But also, that could be absolutely wrong because I tell you what, I, one, I probably sh I should have looked it up. I didn't know I was going to do that as a transition. I should have looked it up, but also like, bam. <laughs> I feel like I had to stop doing podcast for a little bit there 
I was so tired. <laughs> best, best time of my life. Also the hardest, but we did it. We did it, fam. Maddie Beneers was great. I got to cover him at the Frozen Four as well. Oh, I was so close. I was so close to getting that exclusive for you all. I had a source confirming that he was coming to Seattle. Most people expected that was what was going to happen. And I was so close to getting him on the phone and things fall through. You got to stay on top, especially in college sports. I've done this on the basketball side of things, but you really got to keep up with them, uh, especially after they lose. So uh, anyway, that happened. Speaking of the expansion draft and the like, one of the coolest videos, I think, and coolest experiences that I got to have early on for Locked on Kraken was going out to Seattle. Not my first time, but it was my first time at this particular park. Um, to, and first time at an NHL expansion draft or any expansion draft, really, uh, because we don't really do that in women's sports. We don't expand very often. And when we do, they don't give us a party. Anyway, I digress. OK, moving on. Um, <laughs> I want to take you back to Gasworks Park for my coverage of the expansion draft. And I'm telling you, these shades not the ones that I'm wearing, although I can get down with these as well. But the shades that I have on, I have not purchased, repurchased a pair. This would be my third, maybe fourth pair of these, but they're fresh to death. Uh, so take a look at that as well. <laughs> Second hockey fans, Erica Lindsay Ayala here from what was the 2021 expansion draft here live at Gasworks Park in Seattle, Washington. I, of course, am your host of Locked on Kraken. I was here live. It was fantastic. We had about six players that were selected off of the board today from across the NHL, with the exception of the Golden Knights, that were here. Uh, and we got to speak to some of them. Some big news. First, let's take a look at this draft board. We've got Jeremy Lousen was the first pick from the Boston Bruins. The last pick was Cole Lind. That went by division and then alphabetically. Another point to note, though, is that from Tampa Bay, Yanni Gord goes to the Seattle Kraken, but Ron Francis confirmed that he already had so shoulder surgery and will miss time. If you talk to Ron, if you talk to Dave Haxtell, head coach of the Kraken, the big thing coming off of this board is character. They like the character. They like the opportunity that there is to build a team around some of the pieces that they drafted today. Now, this is not the end all be all. Ron Francis also talked about having some space, having some cap space. Maybe that's why they don't go after price as far as goaltending to leave some of that space to make some deals. And of course, Dave Haxtell talked about wanting to have a competitive, a competitive training camp to really get the best out of these players and see on the ice who's going to be a great fit. One other thing we learned is that the first Seattle Kraken game will be, uh, the first home game for the Seattle Kraken will be against the Vancouver Canucks, and that will be on October 23rd. So, Seattle fans, the official schedule comes out tomorrow, the full NHL schedule, but we already know. Mark your calendars, October 23rd, the Kraken will have their first ever home game. You best believe we're going to be talking about it on Locked on Kraken. There you go. Another change here. The logo that you just saw, if you're watching on YouTube, is now the logo on my hat. I love this. Also, those earrings, baby. Anchors away. Let's go. Coming up next on Locked on Kraken, I'm going to take you through some of my, it's hard to say favorites. I'm not going to lie. Every guest that's come through, we've had a good time. I try my hardest to make every guest that we have on this show belly laugh at least one time. We've gone from Katie Strang talking about some pretty serious stuff in hockey reporting um, to Haley Salvian, Chanel Keenan, first ever uh, guest that said yes to me and Locked on Kraken. She was not the first one to appear on Locked on Kraken. That went to JT Brown, but Chanel Keenan was very shortly after that. And uh, the most recent interview, well, you're going to have to wait until next week for that one. Right now, let me tell you about Bill Bar. And so I was pumping up the brownie chunk. And let me tell you, when I got back from my last trip, I had uh, some brownie chunk uh, bars 
sent to me by way of the Locked On Podcast Network, and they're good. They are really good. Uh, the coconut brownie chunk built bar, uh, and then there's a coconut brownie chunk puffs. I haven't tried the puffs yet, but these are amazing. And um, just like all the other built bars, they're high in protein, low in sugar, low in calories, and 100% covered in chocolate. All built bars are made with a collagen protein, which your body absorbs more efficiently, and it provides tons of health benefits. I talked about it before. Healthy hair, healthy skin, healthy nails. That's all good stuff. So eat something that tastes good and is good for you. Emphasis on the taste good. I will attest to that. The best part of the Built Puffs is, of course, that, like I mentioned, they taste amazing. You can eat them guilt-free. So when you go to Built.com and you stock up on your favorite flavors, Cherry Barcia, Double Chocolate, you know, is one of mine, make sure you use that promo code LOCK15. That's going to get you 15% off your next order at Built Bar. Happy snacking! I talked about this yesterday. I want to thank you always for listening to Locked on Kraken. Again, we're going to close out. We just had the second stanza where I talked a little bit about my uh, coverage of Maddie Veneers from Boston to Beijing, baby, um, and Seattle, the Pacific Northwest. Uh, he was not in Seattle, but I was for the draft which was amazing. But speaking of the draft, we have another one. Now I will not be in Montreal, Quebec. I will be in Chicago, Illinois. Six, two, six, five, two. Is that it? Ruff, ruff, ruff. Chicago, Illinois. I don't know. I might have made that up. Anyway, I will be in Chicago, Illinois. So to be determined what that coverage looks like, but you best believe that very shortly after the number four pick, I'm going to tap in. You've seen some of the nows. We're going to play some uh, at the end of this show as well. Uh, you best believe I'm going to have that coverage. So subscribe to Locked on Kraken on YouTube. That's definitely where you want to be. As you can see, some of these videos I'm playing have been ripped right from YouTube, um, but I'll definitely have the coverage there. Make sure you're following us also at Locked on Kraken. Okay, yes, <laughs> where to even start? Well, I already gave you JT Brown, but I got to go with my girl Chanel. Now, she just recently closed her two-year stint with the Seattle Kraken. She was an intersectionality consultant also someone, especially early on in the season, that was my texting buddy as we tried to stay awake for the Seattle Kraken games, the one and only Janelle Keenan. Um, I did a live stream with our play-by-play -play guy, Everett Fitzhugh. We are bonded for life after that experience. Um, that was a good so, one. I liked yeah. it. <laughs> there was a, a lot of late nights preparing for that. Um, I think it might have been one of our first like live events. Um, and it was daunting. It was totally out of my comfort zone. I really love editing. So um, it's kind of a little bit nerve wracking in a lot of ways to do that. But I had such a great partner in Everett. And um, every time I see him, he gasses me up like crazy. I'm like, you have to stop. Like, it's so funny. Um, all right, all right, all right. Chanel Keenan and me with yet another wardrobe change. Uh, this is a, a newer locked on uh, hat that I got. So it's like patch style. So instead of the green, it's all black. It's like giving me Oakland. Oh, well, actually, they're not in Oakland anymore. It's giving me Las Vegas Raiders vibes. I'm a hat gal. I like my hats. I look good in hats. But also, uh, I, I was wearing... I was wearing my pirate's hat earlier, Arr! and I played, I, did you hear it? Actually, I don't know if you caught it. Played it earlier, I'm going to play it again for you. But do you recognize this sound, and how much will we hear it in this upcoming season? <laughs> Let's go! That's the Seattle Kraken goal sound the kraken goal horn master mix we want to hear more of that and that's why ronnie baby you gotta get going in free agency we want a big time draft okay um i told you about some of my get up here so i'm, I'm back to the pirates hat 
uh, because it's going to be important. I've got the gloves and I have the, uh, that anchor. I actually got these in Chicago at the airport. So I'm going to have to go to that place again. Um, and that's because I, for one virtual Halloween with the family during the Rona, we had a Halloween party and a costume contest. And I dressed as Uma, who is from the, she's a character from the Descendants. She is the daughter of Ursula. And uh, for those who were around in the original, like I said, I've podcasted from Beijing, Boston, uh, Atlanta Airport, LaGuardia Airport, my home in New York, my home now here in Tulsa, uh, hotels from all over Florida, uh, from Seattle. I'm trying to think. I, I can't even. I can't even keep track. I don't even know where I am right now. I mean, I just said I'm in Tulsa. Most of the time, I don't even know where I am. But um, sometimes that means connectivity issues, and sometimes when I wait for the uploads, I like to uh, do a little, it's not cosplay, it's more karaoke. That's more my style. So this is one of my favorite clips, just having fun. Also, this was from the episode where I had just gotten this bad boy. Ooh, what's my name? What's my name episode? Go check it out on YouTube. Here's me doing my best Uma impersonation. What's my name? What's my name? Uma, uma, la, la, uh. That's it. That's it. Say it. Say it. Ooh, good time. That's a banger. For real. For real. Okay. Other uh, guest, Allison Lucan on the show. And this was before she was officially hired. Uh, so we get them early. We get them early. And uh, here's a little clip from when Allison joined Locked on Crack. And then here at Locked On Network, we have a sponsor, Bet Online. We have even a podcast, Locked On Bets. So um, not just at the fantasy level, but also at the sports betting level, we're seeing people get more into data. What has that been like for you as someone who this is really what you do and, and what you like to write about? Yeah, you know, it's a great point. And I think it's something really interesting to watch in all sports, not just hockey. First and foremost, I will never tell anyone how to fan. Um, if you like to just sit and watch a game and have a drink or have a hot dog or whatever it is, that's amazing. If you like to dig into data, that's amazing. I think that, yes, the evolution of this information that's coming numerically is going to open up a whole new world of betting. Um, you know, it's interesting. Sound of Hockey just did that very interesting article where they compared Vegas to the current Seattle roster. And there were actually more goals <laughs> coming from the Seattle roster than the Vegas roster. Um <laughs> So, you know, I, I think that what's interesting is we can look at this in a couple different ways. Um, I have covered the Columbus Blue Jackets, and this is a team that was one of those that really started to change the perception of defense and activating from the back end and making the defense the beginning of your offense. Um, and what is the next evolution in the game? I think we're kind of due um, for something new to start happening. Is it positionless hockey? Maybe. I don't know. That might be too big of a dream. But uh, I don't know. That's my that's my pipe dream. We'll see. But uh, oh man, I might have to have you back to talk about that because <laughs> I have no idea what positionless hockey could look like. But I have strong thoughts about positionless Let's go. basketball. <laughs> and Erica, you know we love a good crossover. We do love a good crossover. <laughs> I love that you did that. Yes, love a good, love a strong crossover. So Alice and Lucan gonna have to have you on again i hope we get to see more of your work just selfishly for seattle because then we get to talk all of the time I, I i wish i had you know coordinated i already put my earrings on for the day but these are some of my faves girl <laughs> let's go let's go <laughs> let's go let's go did you see me in the in the the lower box here kind of like Oh, that data analytics for gold. 
Oh. Oh. My guest, my special guest uh, that we're going to have on next week also talked about the analytics and the analysis of the goalie tandem, which I know I talked about, was it this week? Maybe last week? Didn't quite pan out. Didn't quite pan out for us. But it was fun walking down memory lane. That's an actual song. Look it up. Um, <laughs> it was fun walking down memory lane with you. I hope you enjoyed. What is your favorite Locked on Kraken moment. There have been a few. I've ranted about defense. I've talked to you about, remember when I ranted, speaking of Grubauer, like everyone was mad Gruby was getting another start. I was like, what do you want us to do? I know Drieger's there, but is he really? The dude couldn't stay healthy. Again, me and my guest, and, and I, what I love is that the guest went and hit all of the locked on Kraken points. Without, I just asked one question, and whoop, I was like, do you listen to this? Are we the same? What's happening here? So you're going to get some of the my heavy hot takes. You're going to get that by way of my guest, which kind of made me feel nice. I'm not going to lie. Some party go. We were lockstep. Or maybe it's just because the eye test don't lie, baby. The eye test don't lie. Maybe that's because it's obviously uh, a retrospective. But, but besides the point, the eye test don't lie, folks. And make sure whatever your relaxation and wellness tip is, that it also includes water. Make sure you stay hydrated. I can't thank you enough to think that I've been here for a year. I know I've made a lot of mistakes. I have not met the standard that I even want to hit all the time. And that's life, baby. That's life. I mean, look at this. We're talking about the Seattle Kraken. You want to talk about not hitting metrics, right? But that doesn't mean it's not fun. We're still having a good time. That doesn't make the Seattle Kraken players bad people, baby. It just makes it life. Things don't always work out, especially when you're doing it for the first time. So if you've been with me since the beginning, thank you. Thanks for sticking it out as I made my way through this. And I'm excited for season two, or I should say year two. Well, both. Season two, year two. And, of course, that is going hard in the paint as we head to the draft. I'm one for one in my draft predictions. So how are we going to do? But I'm going to close out the show a little bit different. Of course, we're going to hold fast. We're going to stay true. And I'm going to show you what I talk about all the time. And it's my boldest of bold predictions. That is still, it still could be true. Well, that's how we're going to close out the show. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you on probably Tuesday. I don't think we're going to do a Monday show, but eh, check it out. We'll see. I'll see you next week. Kraken hockey fans, Eric Lindsay Ayala, your host of the daily podcast Locked on Kraken here. And I am here to provide my bold prediction for the Seattle Kraken in their inaugural season in the 2021-22 NHL season. And I might have taken a few liberties here because my bold prediction will likely span over several years, but certainly has to get Kraken, if you will, this season. And here it is. My bold prediction is that the Seattle Kraken will win a Stanley Cup before the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Now for this to come true and for the Seattle Kraken to make manifest on this bold prediction, they certainly have to get it done this season. We take a look at the betonline.ag odds. Right now, the Seattle Kraken are in the playoffs. They are in that third position according to these odds that would put them in the NHL playoffs. And one thing that's important as you're building a championship type franchise is to get playoff experience. I've talked about it on the podcast. We hear Ron Francis and other experts around the league talk about it. This team was built for leadership. It was built for culture. Now they have to make all of that come together on the ice. And one really great way to do that is to aspire to get into the playoffs and then get that playoff experience. You need to know what it's going to take to win a title. And you have to feel that physically within your body. A few other things to note. The Pacific Division is known as one of the weaker divisions, and it's advantageous for the Seattle Kraken to be in that division. But we also have to remember that there are a handful of teams in the Pacific Division that have young talent in the pipeline already, up-and-coming young talent that could shift the tide. And so if the Seattle Kraken truly want to be able to get that Stanley Cup, certainly ahead of the Las Vegas Golden Knights, 
then they need to capitalize on the opportunity that they have now to establish themselves in the Pacific Division. But if you want to know more about this bold prediction and all things Seattle Kraken, make sure you join me over at Locked on Kraken. And as we say in the membership group, the depths of the Seattle Kraken, hold fast, stay true, and let's go Kraken.